Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I know the million dollar question has been, where have you been? Well, in all honesty, um, I have been taking a break and I took a break because I think this is like super toxic sometimes. So like continue to look at yourself um, in the mirror. Like sometimes you, you can start seeing stuff that other people don't see and it just, it can be a lot, okay? So I decided to take a break. That plus I really wanted to work on my presentation and my videos and the way that they came out. And so I've been teaching myself color grading. I've also um, purchased like five new styles. I have four of them here which you're gonna be trying today. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I've been testing some new products. I've been using the Becca primer, so I have some goodies on the way. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm super excited. I hope you guys really, really, really enjoy it. So to get started, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Revolution um, eyebrow pencil, and I'm gonna be using this in the shade Deep Brown. I got this from Target. I really hate shopping at Ulta now. Don't ask me why. Just going in there kind of gets my anxiety up, and I feel like Target has stuff for cheaper, so I would prefer to go to Target, but that's just me you know you don't have to be that way um that's just what i like to do and then i've also have like kind of a new way of doing my brows it's not it's nothing too major y'all know i don't really go too extra on the brows i'm actually looking for my mirror to get my brows personally i just push them up i don't do nothing too crazy push them on up you know with the little spoolie it comes with a spoolie um, so I just push them up and then I take the brow pencil and I actually just start right here. So not in the, the front anymore. I don't know. It just makes it look 10 times better to me, I guess, because my brows are already kind of bushy in the front. So I don't go into the front anymore. I just start there and I just draw them on. And that's like the easiest. I really do like this pencil. Um, it's been hard to try to find a pencil that actually works on my skin tone. Before I was using the lip bar. And honestly, I feel like this could be a dupe for the lip bar. Like you don't have to spend, what is the lip bar? Like $24, $14, something like that. Don't. Don't quote me. Um, but you don't have to spend that much. You can actually just spend, I think this was like seven bucks. If that, probably maybe like six. And it does just as good of a, a job as the lip bar. And it lasts all day, so I don't have any problems there. I actually, when I get to like the front, I just kind of like, you know, make it like hair strokes up there. And then I fill in the back too. So previously I was doing like a gel on the back, like this part right here, I was doing like a gel and then I would go in with the pencil in the front, but I don't know. I just kind of stopped doing it. Y'all know I don't have a reason for stop doing stuff. I just kind of fall off from doing it. Now to clean up my brows, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. concealer. This is in the shade Deep Cinnamon as well as like a little flat brush here. And I'm going to use that just to clean up the brows. I know y'all be wanting me to put the product list below, but honestly, I don't be remembering what I use. And it's so hard to like edit and get this stuff on camera. Ain't nobody got time for that. And I say everything that I, I use in the video. Like I know y'all probably don't want to be listening to like what I be saying, but I'm not gonna put it down at the bottom on Twired, okay? It's a lot. <laughs> I haven't even been posting on Instagram, y'all. Like, that's how tired I have been and just, I don't know. Like, you get to the point where you just need a break. Like, I've been doing this nonstop for about, I don't know, maybe like a year or two now. And it just, it became overwhelming. So I just had to like really take a pause from it and get my thoughts and my well-being together. Plus, I, like I told you, I've been self-teaching myself. <laughs> self-teaching. I guess that's what you call it. I am self-taught with um, color grading and stuff. So I've been watching like YouTube videos and reading photography books and stuff like that. So that's what I have been doing with my time. And it is super time-consuming trying to figure out what lighting works for your setup and stuff because everybody's room or wherever you record, I record in my room. But everybody's setup isn't the same. And so sometimes like what they be telling you to do don't work for you and then you gotta kinda tweak it a little bit. It's just been a whole little mess. 
So when I clean up my brows, I also bring it in to like the center. And the reason why I do that is just to make sure that this brow is even as well. So I'll bring that one into the center as well. I have been cleaning up the top of my brows just because I like a more crisp effect. I stopped doing it because Jackie said, don't do it no more. She said, leave that back in 2006. But uh, I need that in my life. So I have been cleaning up the top of my brows. If you don't want to clean up the top of your brows, then don't. It's not something you have to do it's not like a must it's just a personal preference whatever you decide like some people can clean up the bottom of their brows and it looks amazing my thick brows they just don't allow that to happen they just it just won't happen for me i feel like in the midst of me um taking that break like i needed that because i was recording and i just wasn't in love with doing my makeup how i was in love with it before if that makes sense like I used to love recording. I used to be able to get up at like three o'clock in the morning and record for you guys. And it used to just be amazing and therapeutic for me. And then it just started to become a job. Just like, <sighs> it's too much work. <laughs> like, I just don't want to keep doing it. So I took a little break just to see if, hey, this is something that I wanted to do and I needed to continue to do it because bitch, I spent all this damn money on all this equipment. So it is something that you need to do. But when the content isn't coming out the way that you want it to, it's kind of like, do I really want to keep doing this? I legit felt like I'm going to use like a little um, Real Techniques brush and I got a whole mirror over here. I'm using that little tiny mirror. Lord have mercy. But I really did feel like I was gonna give up on this because I was just tired. Y'all know I give up like every three weeks, so y'all know I be tired. I mean, it, it either be the trolls, it either be like the BS that be going on in my personal life, which I be going through a lot <laughs> in my personal life. Like if you don't know, and I probably never went over it on my channel, but I believe personally that I am a high functioning depressed person. Like <laughs> very high functioning. I always seem happy, but at the end of the day, like I be really. <sighs> I just, I don't know, I have that mentality, like I don't have time to deal with stuff, um, but it'd be a whole lot of shit going on in my, my personal life. But I don't have time to deal with it, you know what I'm saying? So I don't process a lot of things and my only thought process is just to keep pushing. Okay, so I finally did make it to the store to get my Anastasia Beverly Hills. Cue the applause. It only took me like seven, eight months to get there, but I finally did make it to Alta to get some because the other one, I felt like it was good, but it just, it wasn't given what Anastasia was giving. You know what I'm saying? Like it just, it just wasn't. So I decided to go and um, give me some more. Now this look, because I really want to showcase like the shorties in my collection, which is like the short lashes. Excuse you. I really want to show them off. So um, I am actually going to be doing like a very simple look today. It's not going to be anything extravagant. And the older I get, the more I'm kind of like, oh, I like my color, like especially blues, greens, pinks on me. I love that, but I just haven't really been doing too much color lately. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the Morphe, what is this? The Morphe 3503 palette. And um, I'm gonna start out with like, Lord, I gotta show y'all ear thing. I'm gonna start out with this little color right here. Cause I know somebody gonna be like, wait, what you use? Um, so I'm just going to start out with it and I'm going to apply this. This is actually going to be my transition color and I'm just using like a little bit of a fluffy brush to blend this back and forth, back, back, forth and forth. Y'all, my personal life, I've been going through, I've been going through like a little custody battle. It's not a real custody battle. I just call it a custody battle but it's not a real battle, you know what I'm saying? So don't send me no sorries and I feel for you. None of that, okay? It's not a real custody battle. He just crazy as shit. So it's not even the kid's father. Well, I mean, I guess it could be considered the kid's father because um, he's more of a father than their actual sperm donor. So hmm. anyway, my boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, it depends on which day you, you ask me. Some days we together, some days we're not. <laughs> it's really hard to explain y'all like it's not toxic like the relationship is good we just have some differences and so you know how like sometimes you have like a little bit of a break with someone that's what we're going through right now it's just like a little smidget of a break okay so then I'm gonna go in with like this little reddish tone I'm gonna show you guys that so I'm gonna go in with this one and then I'm gonna switch off and go in with these two in a second so first the little reddish tone one and I'm just going to apply that right here in the crease using a smaller 
brush to go in and apply that but back to like this little custodial parent thing so um my ex-boyfriend boyfriend whatever y'all want to call him my future my past all of that like we're just in a weird zone right now like it's just a weird place it's no beef or anything like that i just feel like we speak two different love languages and it's nothing wrong with that i totally believe you can be with somebody that speaks a different love language we just need to work our problems through and i do believe that we are going to work our problems through it's just going to take some time and some effort on both ends um i can't even bash him but anyway he's been taking the kids like every weekend because in his heart of hearts he believes that these children belong to him and so he takes them and i'm telling y'all like i am losing my mind it has been eight years and i cannot tell y'all probably five years ago was the last time i went without my kids so he took them um last week and but he didn't take them overnight like he took them out for a couple hours and i was like well what do i do with myself like do i go get something to eat like i wound up going to chipotle and i was like i feel so bad for going to chipotle and not buying them anything so i bought them something while i was there because i just felt so bad like i've never had to never like not share with them because I've always had them. I'm a single parent. I don't have family down here and I don't trust everybody with my kids. So it was like, yes, I needed a break. I said it all the damn time. Like I need a damn break. But I guess when it came down to like me actually having a break, I was like, what in the hell do I do with Okay, so once you have the red in there, because we kind of lost some of that brown, we're going to go back and just apply it to those edges just to blend that out so it's not a harsh, you know, transition there. So my kid, I'm going to say one of them. The other one, she like him, but she like, I use him for his money type thing. She cries me. But anyway, like my son is like so attached to him. It's crazy. So I went and picked him up from daycare yesterday and my son is like, are we going to his house? And I'm like, did he tell y'all that? Like, cause he calls and he talks to him every day because once again, they his kids. <laughs> but I'm like, did he tell y'all that? Did he say he's gonna come and get y'all? And um, my son was like, no, he didn't say that. And I was like, okay, well, where did you get that from? He's like, because I want to go over there. So I was like, okay, well, you can call him when you get home not thinking that my son was actually going to ask him if he could go or he was actually going to say yes next thing i know my son is like he wants to talk to you so i get on the phone and he's like um is it okay if i take them and i'm like take them like you want to take them out for the day he's like no i want to um have them do like a little sleepover at my house and i'm like okay so he 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 comes and he gets them and i'm telling you all all night i woke up maybe like every hour on the hour just because i'm not used to like not having them or not getting up like they they'll wake me up at five o'clock in the morning like can i have breakfast so i woke up today at five like okay there's nothing in silence here i did not know how to act i'm gonna take like the deeper brown in the same palette and we're just going to apply it but we're only going to apply right here like right where that arch is not going past the arch but i seriously i did not know how to act y'all like i was in total shock just not knowing what the fuck to do with myself and i'd be always saying that like i need a break from y'all i need a break from y'all and i finally got a break and just did not know what to do and it's to the point like he he kept saying yesterday he's like you can come like i got an extra room you can sleep in an extra room like you don't even have to talk to me you can just come and i'm like no because we just need some space like we just need like a little bit of space. I mean, it's me more so than it is him. Y'all know I'm a Virgo, so I'm like, I'm sensitive, but I'm tough on the outside. Like, uh, but I'm a little sensitive too. You know what I'm saying? So I got like a little bit of both. Um, <laughs> but he was like, you can totally come and you know, we can just make it like family night again. I'm like, nah, but I cried my eyes out last night, y'all. I was like, ah, ah. Like, I was just so hurt. I was so hurt. For why, don't ask me. I don't know, but it hurt my feelings. I guess because I do kind of miss that. Not even kind of. I do miss that. It's just, I feel like sometimes women, we have to take a stand on some shit. Like, especially if you want some shit to change, you know what I'm saying? You gotta take a stand on that and stand firm and that's kind of like when you're punishing your kids like not saying i'm punishing him but i'm saying like when you put your kids on punishment you have to stand firm in your decision to you know punish them you can't just be like okay no i take it back you don't worry about it they're gonna be like oh, okay next time i'm gonna just do it 
even harder you know what i'm saying so i'm taking my stance on this but it is super difficult i feel like we do need to talk and we'll get there eventually but this whole relationship thing is a lot of work and nobody told me that nobody told me that i was like i want a relationship so bad i'm ready to be in a relationship but nobody told me this shit was actual work like you actually have to work for this this is craziness okay so now i'm going in with the anastasia again i put it on the back of my hand and i'm going to use this to cut my crease because i feel like i haven't done a cut crease in forever so i'm going to use this to cut the crease and then i think i'm going to do a matte shadow i really love how mattes look on my eyes like they just they're just beautiful, okay? So I think I'm gonna do a matte today, but I'm not sure. Y'all know I love shimmers too. Like shimmers are my favorite, but for whatever reason, mattes have been really cool in my name lately. So I think I'm gonna do a matte. Okay, so that is it. I feel like my eyes are two different shapes, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call you out right now. Um, but if you guys have been watching my story this past week, I told a story about these girls trying to set me up to have like a um, like a little orgy or whatever. And a couple of y'all DM me like, girl, you got to tell us the tea what popped off. So I'm gonna tell y'all what popped off. If, but I don't know if, like what colors do I want to do today? Because I do want it to remain simple, but I wanna be out there in the streets too. I don't know, give me a second. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with maybe these two colors. This is out of the Juvia's Place Wahala 2 palette. And I'm gonna use those because I wanna keep it simple. Like I told you guys, I'm gonna be doing an extremely natural lash today. So I really don't wanna go overboard with this. Um, but at the same time, I wanna be extra. You know what I'm saying? I wanna be seen out here on them streets, you know. <laughs> don't be like me, y'all. Just, just do what you do, okay? Just watch my shoes. Anyway, um, so let's go ahead and get into this story time i'm gonna start out with the light one and i'm just going to apply that in here oh that's so pretty i love this i absolutely love this this is gorgeous i mm, mm, it's delicious anyway um i started working at this new job right this was like maybe maybe Four, four or five years ago, I started working at this job and it was like a bunch of women and it was extremely catty. I would definitely not suggest working there. It was a lot of women, like I said, and so, so, so much drama. Like, and I've never been for drama. Like, I'm not confrontational. People think that I am. I'm not confrontational. Um, I don't start nothing, but I finish everything, period. But I start working there and this one, these two girls, they really like kind of gravitated towards me and I didn't think anything of it and you know like they were really cool and just really at the time it seemed innocent right so I was like okay well I'll start hanging out with them and um I should have knew some shit was gonna pop off when the girl because again I didn't have any friends here and I'm just just trying to be new and free and one with the world anyway she was like i had a pool at the time at my house and so not my house but my apartments i'm not that rich but anyway she's like hey can i come over she had like a bunch of kids so she's like hey can i come over um and get in the pool and i'm like yeah sure no problem so she comes over and we're out in the pool and she's like oh i invited my boyfriend like what do you mean you invited your boyfriend like i don't know your boyfriend i'm telling y'all this part because it's going to come in handy later okay but she invited her boyfriend and i that pissed me off from that point i was like, mm. like i was like i don't really fuck with you like that because i don't appreciate you coming to my home knowing i have kids like i don't even have random dudes around my kids so what you think you gonna have your man around my kids and i don't know him and then you came here and then that's when you told me like you didn't even give me a heads up you decided to show up at my house and then tell me that you invited your boyfriend it just didn't come off it didn't sit right in my my spirit okay so that was the first red flag right i stopped talking to the girl for like a, a while but remember i told y'all it was two girls so the other girl was really cool with her and she was like hey she didn't mean nothing to buy it um she really wants to apologize to you because for me like when you piss me off like that's it i don't want to have no dealings with you i will not talk to you like we ain't gotta have no big blow up but i just don't fuck with you right she's like hey she didn't mean it like that and so i was like okay cool so we got back cool again and she was like um there's this party i want you to come to so i was like okay cool so i go to this party 
and this is where it's about to get interesting this is what i told y'all on my instagram story so i go to this party and it was the two girls and a couple of their friends and their family and i was like okay cool whatever i brought her some birthday gift gave her some money you know blah 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 i didn't even i hadn't even known the girls for like two months but i was like you know what ifs so i'm there and this brown skin girl like i think all women are beautiful um I've never been sexually attracted to them, but I do believe that, that all women are beautiful. So she's there and she's like dancing and of course, you know, brown skin women link up, e hello. Uh, so she's like, oh my goodness, you're so pretty. And I'm like, oh my goodness, you're beautiful too. Like you're so pretty. And so I don't even know, like we have been taking jello shots and drinking and before you know it, the bitch was on my lap, like sitting on my lap. Like a stripper would sit on one of the they little clients lap and so i was like okay whatever and she kept touching me and touching my face and i was like okay like you getting a little touchy feely but once again we both been drinking so whatever and i'm the type of girl like i guess you can't do that now in 2021 because bitches be thinking you for real like <laughs> um but i'm the type of girl like if i see you out dancing i might come out and dance with you and hey mm, we turning up you know what i'm saying like we just vibing nothing's gonna happen afterwards well i guess she didn't she didn't play play flirt i don't know she didn't think that it was a game okay so she sat on my lap and um she's touching on me and she's like you know i just want to take you home make you feel good and i at that moment i think i sobered the fuck up and was like this bitch for real like she's so serious okay I think I'm good but yeah like everybody had been drinking so I really didn't think nothing of that night so fast forward we would all go to lunch together and the one girl more so more more than the other girl would always pull up like these Facebook groups and mind you I've never really been into Facebook because I felt like Facebook is, first of all, it's for old people. And I feel like it's for messy people. Like, people on there be so fucking messy, I can't even handle it. I recently had to get off Facebook again because I almost cussed the bitch out for doing some fuck-ass shit. Ooh, you're monetized. Be better. Anyway, um, I had to get off Facebook. But anyway, she was on Facebook. And, like, when we would go to lunch, she would be in, like, these little private groups looking up girls like i guess girls would be in groups on facebook showing they with jj's and they they boob boobs and everything like out there naked right and so she'll be in those groups and she'll always be like all right you know what i'm saying look at this look at this look how her titties are sitting up and all this and i'll be like you know i'm not into that you know what i'm saying no like i don't get sexually aroused by women i just never have not to say if you do with something wrong with you ain't nothing wrong with you you're fine i just personally don't you know what i'm saying so um, she would be sharing those pictures and I would just be like, not interested. Here are the two styles, two of the five styles I think I got. Yeah, two of the five styles that I got. These are extremely natural. Um, these are the R.J. Beauty Lashes. And I think, honestly and truly, I'm really leaning towards like this one. Let me see. I'm going to try it on. I'm trying to tell y'all this story and keep it moving because I know some of y'all got a short attention span. And I'm trying to get y'all in there. Like, look how... Yeah, I'm really leaning towards that. Like, that is super natural. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one. I don't know, because then this one's cute too. Wait, let me see. Hold on. This one's like super natural, but it's super cute. Like, you don't even have to have makeup on or anything to wear these. This is how natural they are. Like, that one's really pretty too. I, I don't know which one to go with. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do before I get into my face is I'm going to go in with some moisturizer because I did not moisturize before I got on camera. So I'm going to moisturize my face. And this is the Ambi Even Clear that I use. Um, I have their whole Ambi system. I actually like Ambi. I really don't worry about my forehead um, in these cases. And that's just simply because I already have product up here. But I am going to use the Becca Evermatte. This primer honestly and truly is the shit okay i don't know why it took me so long to try it maybe because i've seen some mixed reviews on it but it is really really good and it does work for oily skin if you're dry i probably would not suggest this because it is going to have you super dry i use about this much and then what i do is i take my middle finger and my thumb and i just kind of warm it up in between my hands 
and then I apply it to my face. And I like to get over here in those nicks and crannies because that is where I get oily the most. And then I also apply it right here. So basically right here in my T-zone is where I prefer to apply it. So a tip is I would totally allow this to dry before you go in with your foundation because if you don't, um, it's not gonna have your foundation laying right. So allow it to dry and I'll probably say maybe like a minute or so it should be good to go. So while that's doing that, I'll normally go in if my lashes are ready and I'll apply the lashes, they aren't ready, they're still kind of wet. So I'm gonna jump back into the story and kind of tell you guys about the story. So where did I pick up it? Oh, so she was on Facebook and she was kind of showing me like these different um, groups that she was in with all of these women, like exchanging nude photos or whatever. And I just was never into that. So she would always try to get me to be involved. She'd be like, hey, I'm gonna send you an invite. And I'm like, please don't send me an invite. Like, I'm just not interested in women. I don't wanna be in here, you know, enjoying something or not enjoying something. And this is what y'all do. Like this, it don't have nothing to do with me. Like, I'm just not interested. And my whole thing is, I am so open to whoever you wanna be, however you wanna be, as long as it does not affect me, I personally don't give a shit. So when you begin to try to force your lifestyle off on me, that's when we started to have a problem. But again, I was chill. I didn't have no problem. So fast forward to about like three months later and um, she's like, hey, it's my birthday or whatever. And um, I want you to come. And so I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll go to your birthday. Now, I decided not to go and I'm so happy I didn't go because it came out later. Um, that the birthday party was actually a bunch of women having orgies. So can you imagine the, the shock on my face if I would have walked in and been like, okay, this is an orgy party? Like nobody told me that. And so again, once again, I have a problem because now you're trying to force your lifestyle off on me. It's kind of like men who are straight and then you have gay men who try to, you know, trick them into being gay. Like, I don't like that, don't do that. I said, I'm not interested in that. But I didn't go because um, when we were getting ready to walk out of the building one night, she said, for your birthday, you can have a free coupon to get head or whatever of your choice. And she said it like jokingly, but I could tell like she wasn't joking you know what I'm saying like okay so I don't know how many times I have to tell you and she would say like because she had friends who were secretly interested in women on the low that's why she felt like women liked women and just were ex afraid to explore that but my thing is I've always lived in my truth I'm not afraid to explore anything I just don't have an interest and if I've already expressed that to you why do you continue to try to push that off on me Okay, I'm gonna go on my lashes now because I think they're kind of dry. So I'm just gonna set them. I'm gonna try to set them. I try to miss my uh, my real eyelashes because I don't want them to break off. Like I already don't have lashes as it is. So I really don't want to lose the ones I got. <laughs> so I try to make sure I miss them. Um, but I'm pushing them into it and that is literally it. These lashes are so natural. It's crazy. This is totally out of my element, but I know that some women who would like to purchase from me don't have the option because I don't carry the natural styles. Well, ha -ha! That changes today, honey, okay? I do not have a name for these. I need to come up with them. I don't know what I'm gonna call them though. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible in the shade 525. And I'm gonna apply it to my face. But anyway, back to the story at hand. Um, so it came out because I guess her and the other friend, like the one initially, the one who got us back cool again, it came out that she told me, I guess they fell out. And so she told me that it was actually like a setup to have me come over and sleep with them. Like she wanted to have sex with me this whole entire time. And instead of her coming out and just saying like, hey, I have a crush on you, the bitch kept trying to set me up. Like, which pissed me off. Like, bitch, just say you like me, and then I can tell you, like, hey, I don't get down like that, and that'd be the end of it. But no, the bitch just kept trying to set me up. And it was just, like, at the time, I was pissed, because I'm like, anything could have happened, like. But moral of the story is, 
be careful because you never know people's intentions you know like you just don't it was a it was a scary scary situation now that i look back on it i can look back on it and laugh now because thank god i had the the intuition not to go but you just never know people's intentions because this whole time like i'm oblivious to shit like people if you if a guy has a crush on me, like, he has to tell me he has a crush on me because I'll be like, oh, okay, I never knew that you had a crush on me because you didn't say that, you know. But wait, there's more. Um, she, it actually came out too. Like, her friend told me that the reason why she had her boyfriend come over to the pool is because they're into having threesomes and she wanted her boyfriend to check me out to see if he liked me. Like, if he was going to be willing to have a threesome with me. Like, again, bitch we never discussed this like where did you get this from who and she's like well i didn't i don't understand why ari was just so upset about it well ari was upset about it because we never talked about any of this and then you have your boyfriend basically coming over to scope me out and i again i didn't know but she had already told the other girl like yeah i'm gonna have my boyfriend go over to our house and we're gonna see like if he like her and then we're gonna ask for a threesome like bitch what made you feel like I was going to be down for that? What? I don't have no interest in your boyfriend either. What type of bitch did you take me for? I guess because I was single and, you know, living my life, I guess. I, girl, I don't know. I do not know. And then I'm like, what happens if I invited y'all in for drinks and the nigga thought I was inviting y'all in to have sex and he took advantage of me and... Listen, y'all know I be watching the true crime stuff, so everything and anything goes through my mind. <laughs> I think to the extreme, and I just, that whole situation was just too much for me. That was the e.l.f. concealer in the shade Deep Cinnamon, what we used on our eyes. I'm now gonna go in and just blend that out under my eyes. And I'm just using like a light patting stroke to blend this out because I have noticed that sometimes I can wipe this shit off. So I definitely don't want to do that. Just using a light patting stroke and making sure that I'm actually pulling up so it pulls my face up. You know what I'm saying? And my face isn't dragging. And then like, that's how y'all like her friends, like she would be like, all oh, her friends is in those groups, but they keep telling her they don't like girls. I'm like, they may not like you, bitch. Like they, they you may not be their type. They may like other girls. They just may not like you. And why are you trying to be sneaky and try to find them? Like what they do in their personal life has nothing to do with you. Um, Thursday, I was sitting in my car because I go and I sit in my car on lunch and I'll like edit or I'll take a nap or something like that. The lady who kept driving around the parking lot and when she saw me, like she kept like looking at my car because my windows are tinted. So she's like, like trying to see if I was in there because the car was on. I had literally just pulled in from getting my lunch and um she kept looking at her to see if i was in there so i like looked at her like okay and so you know i told y'all i watched too much crime shit so i thought some shit was about to pop off so i um i had i was sitting on the side of the building so i decided to go around to like the front of the building this is um the infallible full wear and this is in the shade i don't know what shade this is y'all i'm sorry it don't tell it don't tell me on here Oh, yes to do, it's espresso. It's in the shade espresso, so. Um, you wanna be careful with this because it does dry extremely quick, so you have to move fast. But anyway, the lady, she kept um, looking, and so I was like, okay, I'm either about to get kidnapped, I'm about to be put into like a damn drug ring or sex traffic or something, something about to pop off. I told y'all, I watched too many of them damn uh, movie so I was like okay something about to go down so let me move into the front of the building you know at least a bitch I have a chance to scream somebody can come and find me <laughs> I was like because she kept being on her phone so I go to move to the front of the building and she pulled like to like the next building over but I could still see her and she just kind of sat there in the parking lot and so as soon as I pulled out the bitch started doing like um 50 miles per hour to try to speed up behind me so I stopped my car because I'm like, okay, bitch, you're going to have to fight. It's either fight or flight at this point, okay? Like, you cannot be running. Like, bitch, you got to have to go fight. So I stopped my car. I pulled over to, like, the side. I hadn't even got into, like, a parking space. Pulled over to, like, the side, and she pulls next to me, and I rolled up my window. So I'm like, 
because I thought one of the bitches at my job had set me up because you know I really don't fuck with them like that <laughs> so I was like one of these bitches and set me up with a damn crackhead girl. gonna have me fighting a fucking crackhead you know crackhead's the strongest fuck you wanna have me out here fighting a damn crackhead right so she stops and she like um she rolls down her window and she just like stares like crack I'm telling you crack is the best way to describe it she was a crackhead and she's like so i'm like like what what's good and she drives off okay so i'm gonna use the espresso again but this is in black radiance and i'm gonna use this down my nose to contour but the lady she um she drives off. So then I'm like, okay, the bitch is casing the fucking building. She's casing the building like it's about to go down, right? So I'm like, I need to go warn somebody and let them know that she's casing the building. Okay, so uh, she, I'm like, she she doing something she ain't got no business doing. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just sit here and chill because I wouldn't want nobody calling the damn police on me. You know what I'm saying? I might just be lost. I might, because we have a lot of food deliveries. Like people be ordering food all the time. So I was like, okay, maybe she here to deliver food. And so she drove around two more times, right? So I'm like, okay. And she kept looking at this one car in our parking lot. So I was like, okay, cool. So I went in there and I told like our salespeople, like, hey, because they sit like where the, their cars are. Like they can see, cause we got like this big window. So I was like, hey, watch our cars because I think this lady out here casing it. So they was like, okay, we about to go out here. Bitch was sitting out there again. So they went out there and they was like, hey, is you casing our building? <laughs> She's like, no, nah, I got like a friend that works in the next building over. I said, girl, you be watching way too much damn CSI because my ass was ready. Do you hear me? I was ready for the drama. I was ready to fight. I'm going to tell you one thing, though. I'm going to tell you one thing about my job. If they don't do nothing else, they get on my nerves. But if they don't do nothing else, the men there do not play, okay? All of them came rushing out like, what's good? <laughs> who want a problem who want it okay oh i'm sorry i forgot to tell y'all what that was this is the instant age rewind concealer it's in the shade 142 it's golden and this is what i use under my eyes i told y'all i prefer a um, brighter under eye not everybody likes that but for me i prefer a brighter under eye okay so here comes the fun part we're gonna go ahead and set and i'm gonna use my black radiance i did pick up the um makeup revolution banana powder and I cannot say that I am 100% a fan of this. I'm actually going to show you guys. So if you look at the tint on this one versus the Black Radiance, you can tell they are completely different. So the Black Radiance has like more of a yellow undertone. It was made for black women or women of color, I shall say. Sorry. Um, and the makeup... Uh, revolution you can tell like it's just more of like a tan I think this would be great for uh, women of non-color okay I'm trying to I'm trying to phrase it correctly because I don't want to offend nobody but I think that would be perfect for them um, it's not so much for me people be like why you don't return stuff I never return stuff I just be like oh well you know what I'm saying because I never know if I'm gonna get back into makeup so I could use it again if I have a client um that's of non-color I don't know um but this personally just is not for me and I had this before and it just wasn't for me I also picked up the black radiance I don't know what shade this is i tell you honeymoon which is this little shade right here I don't know if you guys can see um and I was like okay well maybe I can try to set with that and I do like setting with it I do have to be careful I'm gonna actually set with it right now but I have to be careful with it because if not it will take away from my highlight under my eyes so I'm gonna show you guys how I actually do that so I take a Real Techniques brush and this is in the Real Techniques 402 I take a little bit of powder and then I dip that kind of brush it off into the top like so because I don't need a lot and then I just take it and I apply it right wherever I applied that highlight and just set it into place and just making sure that we do a nice even coat of this because if you don't um, then you're going to be able to tell the difference in like your makeup it's gonna start skipping that's like the best way to describe it and skipping is like where you can tell like it's not blended 
and that's not something that you want and so i actually use this under my eyes to set and then i'm going to brighten it with the banana powder and i use it like basically in my t-zone anywhere i went in and highlighted that i want to appear a little bit brighter this is what i do okay so and now i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna highlight i'm gonna be using the black radiance banana powder i really wanted to oh my goodness i have hair all over my face sorry i really wanted to try the uh beauty bakery well i have tried it i've tried it like a couple years ago i've tried it the beauty bakery um setting powder and i absolutely loved it like it was amazing the consistency was great um, so I wanted to try it again, but they don't have it at Target and it's a lot cheaper at Target. It might be because it's a smaller size. I'm not really sure, um, but I really wanted to try it again. But I'm, I think that I have like a whole bunch of like brown skin women that stay near me because every time I go and I try to find like a brown skin product, they are all gone. But did I tell y'all that? If you've been watching my story, I also mentioned that as well, um, that I actually work in an upscale neighborhood and going to their Target, they don't have any beauty bakery. They don't carry like shades past Nicki Minaj's shade. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. And I know that Maybelline and stuff, they make products for us, but that particular store does not carry, I guess, any ethnic products. I guess that's what you would call them. They don't carry any of that. And so I was just very disappointed. I was pretty upset because I'm like, it's still like, it doesn't matter how far we go. It always seems like it's, we still so far behind. Like, why would, why would you not carry products for brown skin women? Do you feel like they don't live in this neighborhood? I'm pretty sure that some of them do. Okay. So before I go in and finish contouring my face, I'm actually going to go ahead and do my lips and I'm going to be using this pencil. This I actually got from Ulta. I don't know if they're black owned, um, but they are super inexpensive. Um, this company is called Essence. I've been hearing about this company on, um, what do you call that? TikTok, as well as Instagram Reels. Like, people have been talking about it. And, um, it's actually really good. So, it's in the shade Espresso 02. It's extreme lasting. This is actually for your eyes, but y'all know I like to use browns on my lips because it's so hard to find browns for us. Speaking of which, Lord, do not make me upset. Thinking about this damn vendor. <sighs> I found another vendor and placed my order like two weeks ago. Y'all think I got my shit? Mm -mm. At this point, I'm like, Lord, you must not want me to go into the lipstick business because I can't never find no damn vendors. Okay, and so to get the perfect, the perfect, perfect, perfect um, ombre lip, you're not going to go in with like a lighter brown and just blend in your lips. Blend that all together. Now I'm going to go in with this Milani. This is in the shade 01 and it's in lavish and it's like a satin matte. And I can do satin mattes. I cannot do mattes by themselves. Oh, they make my lips feel so chapped. I hate it. So I'm just going to apply it. I don't know why you gotta do your lips like that. You just do. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the rest of my face. So we can, oh, we're almost done, y'all. Like I know I said this is gonna be like super quick, but then y'all know I got to talk in and Things be changing, um, but I, now I'm gonna go in with this Morphe and I'm gonna use this, oh, oh, no you didn't. I'm gonna use the browns that are in here, just lightly tap them and then just kind of keeping it right here in this area. I don't know if you guys can see. Not moving past that area because I want the darker shades to be back there um, as far as like contouring. Just how I like my face, it does not have to be the way that you like your face, okay? Then from there, I'm going to go in with my Mocha Mommy. And this is from Fenty. And I'm going to use this on my cheeks. Once again, just kind of focusing it back here. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the OPV um, palette. And I like to use this color in the blush. And just apply it right here. Oh, this this palette is super pigmented so 
be careful because you don't want to be out here over blushed up unless you like that look you know if you like that look then more power to you i just personally don't want to be out here over blushed okay so i like to just apply a little bit and i apply it up because once again we want to pull the, our face upwards um we don't really want it to be dragging so i like to apply it upwards all right so let's go in and blend out this rest of this excess powder that we have on us i'm going to take my lip bar um, brown sugar bay powder and i'm just tapping it in there and then i'm going to use it to just blend out the excess get it all out okay so just to get this all set into place just so your makeup can last all day well kind of sort of you want to go ahead and go in with the maybelline lasting fix this is what i use i shake it really well and then i go ahead and apply it mainly just focusing right there on that t-zone and then using a sponge to get out those wet spots all right people so that is it if you have made it here make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel make sure you guys give me a like and be on the lookout for these lashes they should be available um sunday i have everything i just have to rename them so give me until tomorrow and um, the lashes will be available for purchase i love you guys so much and thanks for watching